Hey guys, here we go. This is a special one today. Two things. One, I've got my glasses on because this is a fruit that's fantastic. We're going to talk about pineapples today, so I don't want to cut my finger off, so I better put my glasses on. And two, I could be feeling a little bit French today. Pineapples can come from the north of Australia as they do. It's a tropical fruit. They can also come from places like Tahiti and uh, lots of other places. It could be a little bit fringe. So I've got my hat on. We're going to have fun today. I'm going to show you how to cut pineapples. Pineapples uh, are a fruit that are rich in vitamin and mineral. They're a fantastic fruit to eat. We produce them all year round in Australia. Enjoy. Here we go. Watch this. Okay, pineapples are good. This is a fruit that's just so nice when they're sweet. Uh, lots of different varieties in this day and age. We have pines now that we can buy where they don't have the top on them. Um, we have pines that have much more color. Uh, this pine here is starting to get color. You can see the, the ripeness starting to come into it. And also, you know, pressing, pressing a pine around the top can give us a good indication that the pine's ripe and ready to eat. Um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to cut this uh, in two ways and give you some indication on uh, two ways that you can uh, you can cut and enjoy uh, enjoy the fruit. Um, the pineapple has a spine right down the middle. Um, uh, in one of the ways that I'm going to show you today is eating around the edge and leaving the the middle part as a as it's too hard and it's not real nice to eat. Um, and the second way is just cutting it in little cubes. Uh, that can go into a fruit salad. The kids can eat this. It's just a nice, easy way of just eating pineapple. So uh, um, now a couple of things before we cut this. Uh, just on picking a pineapple. Now there's one thing that I've always done, uh, which has been a good indication of ripeness for a pine, is going right to the center. I hope you guys can see this, but uh, going right to the center here and when you can pull out one of these inner stalks or inner caps on the top, you've got a pretty good indication that the pine's ripe. So if I pull this just gently, you can see that uh, it comes out quite easily. <clears throat> and, you know, it's ready to eat. Could have a little bit more color. Pines keep very well. Um, as I said, you can see the color starting to change. Uh, as the ripeness coming through. Uh, also, the weight is a good indication for pineapples and also as well as that, the smell, the odor of the pineapple is, you know, is always something that just gives me an indication that the pineapple is really nice. Okay, so first thing that I like to do here, and uh, when I'm cutting a pine, um, unless I'm doing a fancier dish, but this is simple and nice, easy recipes to use and to cut, is I want to cut the head off the pineapple. So basically, I'll go as close as I can to the start of the cap or the top and I'll press down into here. You can even if you you can even push the top of the knife in if you want to make that first indication, but try and go as close to the top and cut down and cut off the top. Okay. Second thing I do is I cut off the back. Again, if you want, you can put a little mark in it so you can get your indication to cut and cut off the top. Now, this looks a really nice pineapple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in two, uh, do this in two parts and just make it nice and easy for you here. So I'll cut it in half and I'll show you the first part of what I want to do in, in slices. So I'll put this piece over here for a sec. You can see the pineapple is absolutely beautiful. It just smells nice. It's ready to eat, it's tasty, it's clean. Uh, sometimes we can see little brown spots. Um, a lot of this is the excess of sugar coming out as the pineapple's writing. It's not a bad thing, but it's nice to see a pineapple that's nice and, uh, that's nice and clean and ripe. So basically I'll, I'll turn this on his top and I'll start to cut around the edges. We don't want to go too deep, but we want to try and get out these little niblets and that are on the side here. So we're we're not going too deep into the into the skin, but we are going deep enough where it's cutting these little nipples that are out of the side of the pineapple here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get rid of these guys. Don't need these pieces here. And also what's probably a good thing, because we don't want these little bits to come in here, is we want to just usually wipe the board as we're doing this. And give that a little bit of a... There we go. 
and what we're going to do here is just cut it into slices now you know this sort of thickness here is really nice there we go and so that's the slices that are cut in this one and then the second one here will do exactly the same as what I did here which is cutting the edges around the side and this one we're going to cut into little cubes and this one we're going to okay so basically what we're wanting to do here is take out the spine in the middle of the pine so I'm going to cut down the side like that take that piece there then turn it around and go to the other side take that piece there cut these two little pieces off here on the side and there we have the spine of the pine that is quite tough to eat I mean it's not bad as a little thing that can just be mm. I mean this pine is really this pineapple is absolutely beautiful we can't have a munch on this the kids like it but basically what we're doing here and I can tell you the pine is really sweet is we're cutting this into little cubes this can go into a salad bowl we can cut this one into three shots here and do pretty much the same sort of thing could have taken a little bit more off the edge here just let me trim that up throw that onto this pile here and so we can put that on there this one here and again the same and there we have a really nice array of just pieces that are in cubes that can go into a salad bowl or a fruit salad or the kids can just take one of these little little nuggets like this and just mmm that is so so good or another way that this can be presented at a party or on a platter can be just be held of the spine can be held here and we can just uh mmm and just eat around the pineapple to uh to have that nice flavor and not eat the stalk in the middle there we go pineapple two ways of uh of cutting the pineapple today and uh, two easy ways of uh, preparation to go on a plate and uh, present this to friends um, or kids nibblies can go in the fridge and uh, can be enjoyed there we go enjoy pineapple it is such such a good food enjoy mmm so good mm -hmm.